welcome to today's Gale Forest Twins episode where we are doing something super exciting and new for us. We are running 91 nautical miles to fish off of the dry tortugas. Now, not only are we fishing, we're also going to be camping on our boat and spending the night. So you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for future episodes because we can't squeeze all that in one video. This video is us getting over there and starting to fish. Yes, so right now we are in the Lower Keys and our last stop for fuel is going to be Key West. Now we do believe we have enough fuel in the fuel tank to run there and back, but just to play it safe, this is our first solo trip to the Dry Tortugas, just the two of us. So we are gonna make one final stop in Key West, fill up on fuel, top off on fuel and then get a little more ice because we bought how many pounds of ice yesterday? We bought 130 pounds of, oh no, 230 pounds of ice. It was a lot of it ice. It was a lot of ice. It was a lot of ice and we filled up all of our fish boxes, but we have room for a little bit more. So we're gonna once again play it safe, top off on ice, top off on fuel. Then we're headed to the Tortugas and the first thing we're doing is fishing. My name's Amanda. My name is Emily and welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. first stop to top off on fuel because like we said we know we have enough fuel to get to and from and even fish a little bit but this is our first time doing this run and it's always better to play it on the safe side now i will say that this is also our first time in this marina and we have to find the fuel dock so this will be interesting Just made our final stop. Fuel today was only in the four dollar price range on the water, which is really impressive. Because I think it was four eighty nine. It was around four eighty nine. At this point, you just have to accept it. It's a reality. We normally try to get a fuel truck to come and top us off, but like I said, we wanted to make one last stop. And fuel on the water is normally in the five dollar range. Today, it was in the four dollar range, which was great. It was still in the seven. We spent seven hundred something dollars on fuel, which is very typical um, in this industry to fill up a boat. That's just kind of. How it goes. 77 nautical miles to go till we're at our fishing spot. We'll see you there. As we make our 77 mile run to our fishing spot off the Dry Tortugas National Park, let's talk a little bit about exactly what this place is. Now the Dry Tortugas is made up of seven islands totaling 100 square miles. Whether you're a history buff, a nature enthusiast, or an avid fisherman like we are, the Dry Tortugas is a must visit. At the heart of it all lies Garden Key, home to Fort Jefferson. Fort Jefferson was built in the 1800s to protect North America. With the location of the Tortugas being along one of the world's busiest shipping lanes, it made for a great military asset for the United States. Today, the fort is only reachable by boat or seaplane. The good news is, if you don't have your own vessel to run over in, you can catch a ferry. As always, details regarding entrance fees, park tickets, and travel are in the description box below. What is that? What is that? <gasps> what is that? Is that a mola mola? It's a manta ray! It's a manta ray! It's a manta ray! Oh my gosh, grab the big camera. No, it's a whale shark! Oh my god. What? Oh this my god. The and there's Kobe on it. There's Kobe on it. I don't. Holy oh. cow, what do we get? Put a squid in the water and get a Kobe. Put a squid in the water. Get a Kobe. They're not eating it. Pinfish, pinfish, pinfish. What? What? 
This is the coolest day of my get life. Get the big camera, Susie. Get the big camera. Or yeah, do that, do that. Did it eat the squid? No, I said get a pinfish. Where is it? Up here, cast up here. I don't have a head cam. It's fine, just land a cobia. I don't know if they'll eat with the, if they're in the mood to eat. He's going for it. He's got it. One, two, three. But feed it, feed it. You should be feeling long enough that like two seconds, is he? Kobe on! Right, go grab the big camera. I'm working on it! Whoa! Okay, Amanda. Kobe on! Wait, did you just see that? Did you? I don't know. You got that I don't know video? if I got that. Guys, I'm praying that Emily got that on video. We had a whale shark. I can't believe it. We just saw a whale shark. We just saw a whale shark. That was amazing. And guess what you're doing right now? Fighting well, a cobia off the whale shark. Fighting a cobia. That's correct. There weren't any sharks around it. Right? I didn't see any sharks. No. Okay, then it's a cobia. All right, real fast. Let's not get. Let's not get shark. How about that? Yeah. Oh my god. Amanda, we saw a whale shark. Amazing. That was so cool. Guys, we were like, I what dropped my bait down, that? and I was like, what is that? And then I was like, oh my gosh, it looks like one of those sunfish. And we're like, no. And then I saw spots, so I thought maybe it's it was a spot in And then I, we were like, oh my gosh, it's a whale shark. You got it. Watch the line. Get him in the boat, in the boat, in the boat. Watch out. <laughs> Grab the camera. I got the camera. Cobia on the deck. That is a nice size cobia. Amanda? Yeah. Off a whale shark. Off a whale shark. It doesn't get much better than that. I am, I am honestly shaking. That was the coolest thing ever. Hold on, Emily, Emily. That was literally, first of all, top five, top three fishing experiences I've ever had. <laughs> Holy cow, I've never seen a whale shark in real life. Wait, hold on, hold and on, we hold on. Call me on what, what? I, I can't hold this camera. I'm like that excited. Guys, we saw, I cannot believe it. We caught a cobia off of a whale, a whale shark. shark. Amanda, this was like the coolest thing that's I think has ever happened Literally around the water. Literally like 10 minutes into our fishing trip. 10 minutes in, so I see this thing and I'm like, what is it, like these big bubbles? And then I saw spots, so I immediately thought eagle ray or manta ray. And then and we you were thought, like, oh, we thought it was like one of those moa, moa fish. Mo, 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 the mo, sunfish. Mo. The sunfish. I thought it was one of those. And it was like, it's a whale shark. And then we got the GoPros out. I really hope that footage turned out. And then I saw Kobe on it. Amanda pitched a squid, it didn't eat the squid, and I go, pinfish, pinfish, pinfish. She runs, she gets the pinfish, and it wow. ate. All right, let's take some pictures. Check out how big this fish is. Emily, look at this fish. Do you see They're how nice. flat their heads are? Oh, yes. I mean, these guys are known for being called mud sharks. Another species, another name for these cobia, because they look like sharks. And I even, even though, I gotta put this down, even though, I saw the cobia eat. After I hooked him up, I for a second was like, are you sure there wasn't a shark on that whale shark? Because he was acting just like a shark. Turn off some cobia, let's get him on the ice. We're gonna have to figure this out. We, we, we got a problem. <laughs> we got a problem. After a little bit of reorganizing, we put our cobia on here. Probably should cover him with a little more ice. But basically the center divider in our coffin box doesn't come out so our cobia was never fitting in there and we have all of our bait in here like packed to the top so we took buckets of ice out to make room for the bait and then put the cobia in and then poured the buckets in here and let me just say it was quite the process and we've hardly gotten started and we've spent most of our time making room for a <laughs> fish that we weren't prepared for okay amanda yes let's get some lines in the water let's, yeah emily you gotta get a line in the water too <laughs> that is a fish on amanda fish on, and since we know the sharks are here we're gonna reel real fast. We're gonna reel fast and, and aggressive, aggressive, and we're not going to baby this fish at nope. all. It's honestly worth, walk around the motors, it's worth horsing it up and potentially missing it to your own fault than it is to missing it to a shark. Don't you agree, Amanda? Yep, totally agree. Real fast, real fast and it's hard. Running. That, it's that's a shark. A shark. <sighs> it wasn't a shark. I, I saw like the moment it, it got sharked. I saw the moment it got sharked. 
All right, so the sharks are here to play. Okay, Amanda. I don't think it's a shark, Emily. No? I don't. I handed her the rod because I was on the struggle bus. Well, she thought it was a shark, so she didn't want to handle it. I was like, oh, it's a shark. I gave it up. I really probably shouldn't have done that. But guys, we are tired. All we've done is fight sharks today and one red snapper each. It was a shark. It was a shark. It was a shark. Change of plans to a vertical jig because we cannot bring anything up. We're getting sharked like crazy. And the sharks tend to love it when you have groupers and snappers on. Now a vertical jig, you're likely to get into the kingfish. So no guarantees at all when it comes to getting sharked, but fingers crossed, the kingfish, I feel like are less likely to get sharked than a grouper or a snapper. Don't you agree, Amanda? Well, not just that, but even if it's a tuna or something that you get, you catch, it's not as far down, so you don't have to fight it for as long. That too, yeah, exactly. We have a fish on, on the vertical jig. Now we will see, time will tell. Oh, I see it, Amanda. Already? Or it's a huge shark chasing it. One of the two. Oh boy, oh, I oh, see it too. I think, oh, we're already at it. Oh my goodness. It might be a king. Get the gaff. Oh, I think it's a huge cuda. Oh, it's a huge cuda. You can see this massive cuda we just caught, but we don't need to bring this guy in the boat, so we are going to try to de-hook him. There we go. Nice and back. easy with our jig back. Way to go. Hey, we got a fish to the boat. It may not have been a snapper, but that's okay. I need you guys to look in this water and look at the amount of sharks out here. We weren't kidding when we said we couldn't bring a fish into the boat. It is insane how many sharks there are. This is, I don't think I've ever seen this many sharks at one time, Amanda. Um, they're literally circling the boat. I mean, they are just waiting for a free meal. This is absolutely insane. I don't think we're ever gonna land a fish in these conditions. We might, well, let's definitely make a move and try a different spot first before we totally give up. It's not a shark. No. What is it? I don't know, it's a fish though. Okay, are you ready? I'm just reeling so fast. Okay. Amanda, do not <laughs> Give up. Force this thing in the boat. We need to land a fish. Come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it. I know you can do it. I see color. I see color. I see color. It looks like it's, that maybe it's a vermilion. I think it might be a vermilion. It's definitely a snapper. It's a snapper? It's a snapper. Praise the Lord. It's, it's a mutton. I know, it's a red. It's a red. It's a red snapper. It's a red snapper. It's a big red snapper. Oh, wow. oh my gosh. Let's get him in the boat. Oh, it's a snapper. Amanda, could you tie? It's a, wow, wow. Good brain. It's, good it's brain. been a long day. It has been shark after shark after shark. I have never been. I could cry tears of joy right now. I mean, first of all, not only is, is it, it a, a fish, it's a nice, snapper. beautiful, quality red snapper. I mean, Emily, we caught dinner. We caught dinner. We absolutely we didn't did. Have dinner. Well, we brought burgers. So yeah, that's true. We can still eat the burgers if you want to save this guy. But you guys have seen how bad the sharks are. I mean, it's been insane. insane. Like, it's a problem. And that's not to mention the times that we got sharked and it was so fast we couldn't even get the camera out. So oh, you guys yeah. just saw a handful of it. Just a small percentage. I mean, we would bore you if you saw how many times we got shark. But, <laughs> oh my gosh, such a great catch. Let's put him on the ice. Let's put him on the ice. Going in the fish box next to our massive cobia. Definitely got to take some ice from the coffin box and throw it on top of these guys, but it's happening. We're getting it done. Fish on, on the jig. I think we finally found a spot, Amanda, that's away from the S word. Oh. I got into the boat. <laughs> All right. It's a little one. It's a little one. Okay. All right, they have to be 16 inches. Okay. I don't think he makes the cut, but we'll double check. Okay, pinch the tail. 15 inches, he's close. Did you hit bottom? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I got a huge bite. Fish on, we're on, fish on. Fish on! You got a fish on? 
I have a fish on. Okay, it's really small. Real fast, Amanda. I'm going fast. We don't want to get sharked. Okay. And we'll if you guys look out there, that I don't know if you can tell on the camera, is that just grayish color? It, There's a storm coming. We feel some raindrops. Yep, we're getting rain on right now. Red color. Speak. Red color already. Let's see. Real fast. There's a shark chasing it. Oh my gosh, there is. It's another snapper. It's a red snapper, and I want to say that might make it. Might make it right at 16, which in my opinion means that fish is dinner, not the giant fish. Let's give him a measure. Let's see if he makes the cut. We'll put his nose at zero. Not quite, Emily. Not quite. Not quite. He's still really lively and super feisty. He's gonna swim away. There he goes. We battled the sharks and it's close to dinner time. We can't really stay out much longer or else we're gonna get caught in the storm. And it's actually getting pretty close to sunset now. So we need to head into the fort, set up camp for the night. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the next episode and we'll show you our setup for the night. In the meantime, we hope you get out there, have fun and stay safe. Oh no, it's off. We're on. We're on. Oh, lost it. You lost it? Yeah. See? Ready. Let's see if he makes the cut, put his nose at the... He's too small. He's too small? I think so. However, it was never used, so now it's a historic landmark and a national park. Yes, you got it. All right, got it. The sharks tend to like it when you eat... What, Amanda? No, when you catch. Sorry, when you catch. Yeah, my bad. But I don't... Pick it up. <laughs> Is it off the ground? Read it. 25. You okay? You okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. What did it say? It said 25. Okay. 20 miles off the Dry Tortugas and the fort. Now we will be going into the harbor and I don't want to say we're going to step foot on land in case we don't. An inch too short. Okay, that one's going to swim away strong. Okay, hold on. I got to talk to her. So say you got to talk to her. What? You gotta talk to her. I don't know what you what, what? you did. <laughs> Should we do that again? <laughs> okay, Amanda. Wait, let's I don't wait. Know where to put this. But not oh, the next okay. episode. Ready? I don't know what you where you collect it to me. Hello. Make sure it's in there really good. I know it. Like I said in another video. Okay. How's that? It was good. To uh can I do it? Ready? Yeah. Or is the audio? Yep. yep. But first we wanted to Wait, fish. In another bit. Was an island, was, is, is an island, not was an island. Let's try that again. 